Today we are going to look at percent. This is the symbol for, for percent, which I'm sure you're familiar with. And here's the word percent. And this bit of the word cent should make you think of a hundred, like in century, a hundred years, or cents, a hundred cents in a rand. So this percent means per 100. Let's look at some examples to make it clear. If I take 1%, this quite simply means 1 per 100, 1 over 100, a fraction just like that. And this makes it very easy for me to turn a percentage into a fraction and into a decimal. 1% is 1 over 100, and we know that from our work on decimals and fractions, this will just be 0, 0,01. So, 5% will just be 5 over 100, and as a decimal, that will be 0, 0,05. Just look at the fraction, though. 5 over 100 is not a fraction in its simplest form. So we can, in fact, simplify that down a little bit. We can divide top and bottom by 5. So if we divide top of the, top of the fraction by 5, we get 1. Bottom of the fraction by 5, 100 divided by 5, we get 20. So we have here 5% is the same as 5 over 100, which is the same as 1 over 20. And that's the same as 0, 0,05. OK, try this for yourself. Take 25%, write it for me as a fraction over 100, then as a decimal, and then just go back and make sure you can't see if you can't simplify that fraction. Pause the video now and do this in your homework book. Okay, so you should have said 25% means 25 over 100. Turning that into a decimal is very easy. It's 0, 25. 25 over 100 is a fraction that isn't in simplest form, so I can simplify it. This I can do by dividing the top and the bottom of that fraction by four, by 25, I mean. And if I divide the top by 25, I'll get 1. And if I divide this bottom 100 by 25, I will get 4. So this tells me that 25% is the same as 25 over 100, which can be simplified to be a quarter, and it's the same as 0, 0,25. Very easy to move between percentage, fraction, and decimal. Let's just go in the other direction now. OK, so if we want to turn a decimal into a percentage, it's just as easy, especially if we go through the fractions. Let me show you. If we take 0, 0,03, a decimal, and we want to find out what it is as a percentage. Our first step is to turn it into a fraction because we know how to do that easily. 0, 0,03 we know is 3 over 100. The minute we have it in a, as a fraction over 100, we can immediately say what it is as a percentage. Let's look at another example. Say we have 0, 0,5. Well, that decimal we know will be 5 over 10 when we write it as a fraction. If we want to get to a percentage, we must write it as a fraction over 100. But we know easily how to make equivalent fractions. We need this to be a fraction over 100. We've multiplied the bottom of the fraction by 10, so we have to multiply the top of the fraction by 10. We get 50 over 100, and we have our answer, which is 50%. So we can see here, 50% is the same as 5 tenths, or 50 over 100, which is the same as 0, 0,5. Just to get this completely neat, let's just see if we can write this fraction that, it's, it's, uh, that it is equivalent to in simplest form. Because 5 tenths is not as simple as the fraction can be, because you can, in fact, divide the 5 and the 10, both of them, by 5, and you will get a half. So you can see then 50% is a half, which is 0, 0,5. All right, you try for yourself now. Get 0, 0,2 as a percentage. So write it in percentage form by first putting it into fraction form. 
And also, once you've done all that, please won't you write that fraction in its simplest form. Pause the video now and do it in your homework book. All right, so you should have gone quite easily as follows and said 0, 0,2 you know is 2 tenths. That you know is 20 over 100 and you want to write it over 100 so you can immediately write down the percentage. And then just to be nice and neat, let's just write this fraction in simplest form. We can divide top and bottom of this fraction here by 2 and we will get 1 over 5. So we have 20% is the same as 1 fifth. It's the same as 0, 0,2. All right. So now imagine you're asked to take a fraction and write it as a percentage. And let's start with a fraction that isn't so obvious. Let's start with 3 fifths. Well, you know that percentage means over 100. So all you have to do is you have to make an equivalent fraction where its denominator is 100. So we know how to do equivalent fractions. What have we multiplied the 5 by to get 100? Well, it's been multiplied by 20. So if we do that to the bottom, we must do that to the top, and we get 60 over 100. And so 3 fifths is the same as 60 over 100, and 60 over 100 is the same thing as 60%. Try for yourself to see if you can do what is 1 over 25, written as a percentage. Pause the video now and check that you can do this. OK. You should immediately have known that you want to get it as a fraction over 100. You've multiplied 25 by 4 to get to 100. So you must do the same to the top to get an equivalent fraction. You get 4 over 100. So 1 over 25 is the same as 4%. Let's just see if we can write 100% as a fraction and then as a number. Well, it looks a bit funny, but it follows the same pattern we've been doing all along. We know that 3% is 3 over 100, 25% is 25 over 100, 70% is 70 over 100, so 100% must be 100 over 100. That what it, that's what it means. So there is our slightly strange looking fraction that 100% is equal to. And what is 100 over 100? Well, we know from our work on fractions, we can divide top and bottom by 100. We'll get 1 over 1, which is just the same as 1. So 100% written as a number is just 1. Slightly strange looking, but that is what it is. One final example. What if I asked you to decide which is the biggest out of 2 fifths, 0, 0,2, or 30%. Well, the easiest way to decide which is biggest is simply to put them all into the same form. And with decimal, I mean with percentages, the easiest is to just make everything over 100. This is easy. That's 30 over 100. This one we know is 2 over 10, and that's easy to turn into something over 100. It's going to be 20 over 100. And two-fifths, well, if we want to make an equivalent fraction over 100, we've had to multiply 5 by 20 to get to 100. So we must do the same to the top, and 2 times 20 will give me 40. So this makes it very easy for me to tell which of these is biggest. It's obviously two-fifths, because it's 40 over 100, whereas these are 30 over 100 and 20 over 100. So the biggest here is two-fifths.